Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna talk about the Holy Grail. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's time to talk about Indiana Jones once again. Why not? Why not? Because uh, I was Indiana Jones this past Halloween, right? It was time. It was time once again. It was. This was more of an Indiana Jones year than it was a Star Wars year. I know there was a lot of great Star Wars shows that came out, but an indie movie came out. So when when that happens, you gotta you gotta stop and pull the jacket and the fedora back out. So uh, I knew I wanted to start putting some um, artifacts, some movie props in my bag, and you already saw me do the video for the deck of cards and uh, the way I modified the Grail Diary. Well, if I'm gonna do the Grail Diary, then I need the Grail, right? So here's the story, here's what happened. Earlier this year, my brother, who was also gonna be Indiana Jones this year for Halloween, um, he had his birthday and I said, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him the Grail prop for his birthday. So I got him the Grail prop and ordered it from Amazon. I looked at the pictures, looked at the reviews. Everything was great. Showed up at his house. He showed me pictures of it. It looked great. It looked great. And I thought, I'm gonna save this seller so that when it's my turn to go and buy the prop, I'll get the same prop as him. So Halloween gets a little closer, and I said, well, I'll, I'll buy the prop now so I have it in time. So I bought the prop, it came, this is the packaging it came in, this little silver kind of foam padded um, box, and uh, started to cut it open uh, in the kitchen, pulled it out, and this is what it looked like. Like, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> what happened was, I didn't get it from the same seller. The seller who I bought it from first, uh, didn't have any left, found another seller on Amazon. This is the seller I got it from. I'll show the, the page. Um, so they had the same pictures. They had the same pictures, so I just assumed, oh, they probably get it from the same spot, and this is what I got. So a rust cup with these giant gold, like literally just spots on it, right? And so uh, I posted this picture to <laughs> Uh, one of my one of my brothers who also likes you know making props and he was like that looks fine <laughs> and I was like what do you mean it looks fine he's like just get some sandpaper and just go at it so uh, that's what I did I just decided you know I, I I was able to modify the diary so why can't I just modify the grail cup right so that's what I did I went and attacked those uh, gold spots right away with some just really heavy grit sandpaper and started to blend out all the uh, the edges, the hard edges, just soften those up. See if there was any of that uh, red color, that clay color underneath, and there was a little bit. Just started doing a lot of scratches, tried a lot of, uh, get a lot of wear and tear in there, and then um, started just to see a more weathered look for the cup. And then I started looking at um, pictures of, well, what did the cup look like in the film? Turns out there was multiple props used in the film, and uh, they all have a little bit of a different look. So I decided, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna go for the look that was in the movie so much as I'm gonna go for uh, a, a, a design that I think matches what I have and the movie and maybe maybe what I think it would look like, right? So I was, I was kind of doing like a mashup of a couple of different things. So I posted those pictures once I was finished to one of the Facebook groups that I belong to, and, uh, the Indiana Jones Facebook groups. And somebody else came back in and said, hey, you know what you should do is you should add some gray color to all of it to kind of blend it. You know, make some of the red clay color less, the gold less, and kind of blend it up with some gray. So I went back in over the top again with only one color of paint. I didn't really use any other paint besides the gray and the colors it came with. Um, attack some of the spots that I had kind of worn down um, to the base and hit those with gray, kind of went all the way around it, and then uh, got the sandpaper back out again, 
after it dried and then blended the gray together. And the result was this. I cannot even believe that this is the same prop. So if you get that junky uh, prop from Amazon, you can actually make it look like this. Uh, the bottom has a little bit of a felt uh, padding, which is fine because, you know, I leave it up on a bookshelf and I don't want anything to happen to it. I don't want it to fall over. And I did leave a lot of the, the gold. You can still see a lot of that gold. And of course, the whole setter, uh, the bowl itself is gold. But there's already some scratches and weathering in there. So when I look down in here, to me, it looks like the movie prop. It does. And it's probably a lot darker than the movie prop. But when you see some of those production stills from the prop, know that they've got it now in like an all white box and they're hitting it with lights. But when it's on set, set lights always make things look different. So I want this to look more like perhaps the set, how, how it looked on set, how it looked on screen, rather than the actual, like making it look like the prop prop. So I'm totally happy with this. I don't think I'm gonna put it in my bag though, <laughs> because it is kind of big. Right, it is kind of big and it has some weight to it. And I'd be worried that something might happen to it. I don't think I'm gonna be going to my bag to pull things out, nor do I think that people will be asking me to see things that are in my bag. I will carry the Grail Diary in there, but that's more for me. That's just so that, you know, mentally I know, ooh, the Grail Diary's in my bag. But uh, this, I think this will go on a display with uh, hopefully, hopefully more props, right? I wanna get some more props. So I want to get the Fertility Idol and the Cross of Coronado is still eluding me. <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> but I've had one that I did not like. So uh, hopefully that's in my future sometime. So that's, that is the prop. That's my finished, that's my finished prop. So uh, as always, I'm here to help. If you guys have any questions about the process or what I did, uh, anything beyond the pictures and this video that I've made, feel free to comment below. I will happily answer questions for you for as long as uh, I monitor this channel. And so uh, I'm here to help you make your Indiana Jones props look cool too. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.